Sheldon Keefe saying Mark Giordano is now healthy, cleared to play. He's been out since February 29th due to a concussion. Uh, what do you think Gio's role could be down the stretch here for this team? Yeah, it's tough to say, man. There's some, yeah. it seems to be pretty log jammed on, on the D side of things. Um, I think the bigger story is like TJ Brody that we've been talking about. Like, where does he fit? Is he in? Is he not? Is who's coming out if he's in type of thing? But you throw Gio in the mix and it's tough. He's got the experience level. He's got the smarts. I think he's got the discipline. Um, but you know, opportunity to be a little bit exposed, especially now that he's been out for so long, you, you know, at that age, I think it takes a uh, shorter and shorter period of time to lose your legs a little bit and lose your feet. I'm sure he's been doing everything he can, but I mean, if you remember back to last year around this time, he started to kind of taper off a little bit and, and get exposed and, and not be able to keep up and, and get caught in some vulnerable positions. So we'll see. I, I, I like Gio and he can, he can bring a lot of experience and a little bit of old school and kind of knows what to do out there. But just if he can execute and not be effective um, yet to be seen, hopefully he gets into a couple of games and we can see where he's at. I'm sure we will down the next uh, dozen less games. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think you get him in there. You you give a couple of different combinations a look. I think uh, assuming Edmondson and, and Riley, it's nothing major. You have nine healthy defensemen, just like last year, right? Like, don't forget Eric Gustafson. I think was in the lineup for game five against the Florida Panthers. I mean, I do see a world where they use seven of nine guys, eight of nine guys. Like I, I talked about this yesterday. Uh, a big part of the Stanley cup playoffs is how you react following a loss and kind of lineup changes you make and stuff like that. So you're going to need your depth. And I think there is a role for Mark Giordano. I'm just curious at this age, coming back from that type of injury, how he's going to look, it's kind of sad. Like this is probably his last hurrah where I could see a pathway, a free agent in the off season. Maybe he joins in a scouting role for this team and stays in Maple Leaf like Ella, what Jason Spezza did a couple of years ago, but it's kind of sad. Like, like this is the end for Mark Giordano. It feels at the ripe age of 40. And I, I would love to see like one last dash from this guy, you know? Yeah, it would be nice. I mean, if you look at every guy who's ever played in the national hockey league, they're the end of their career. It's not always pretty. It's not always this, skating around waving at everyone blowing kisses while they throw flowers at you it doesn't end that way often oftentimes you don't even know it's the end of your career oftentimes you know it's an injury that takes you out it's just not signing when you're ready to go and you just all of a sudden you just realize training camp starting and you're done it's it's tough sometimes and i don't think this is the worst case scenario for you know a geo he, he's he's needed in that locker room at the very least and i don't know it's just like when you say there's nine guys and you're going to use all of them, I am. I just really want. I just really would prefer if they had their six guys that they're going with. These are the guys. The other guys are the reserves. We're going forward with this, and then every game, whether win or loss, those guys are in the fight. They they can respond. They're totally feeling. You know, they're feeling the momentum switch and, and just the energy and what needs to be done and what went wrong last night and what we did right and and they're in not. Oh shit! Oh, we lost that game in overtime. Now I now I don't play. Now the guy that was in the press box, he comes in and he's gonna try. It's just it's not a it's not a a recipe for momentum. It's not a recipe for gelling. It's not a recipe for team unity. Constantly pulling and inserting guys in the lineup. I don't like it. I want you to have your guys. And barring any injury or huge disaster, those are the guys you're going with in the first round of the playoffs. That's just that's just how I look at it. And you know, I think it comes back to them not having success with blending up the lines like crazy. And I don't want to see them use all nine defensemen in the playoffs. I don't. I want you to use the best six and that you have lots of time to decide who that is. Figure it out and go with them. Make sure to check out more of our content right here on the Leafs Nation YouTube page. we got long form interviews. we got clips. you got epic rants by Jay Rozo. We simply have it all. And don't forget... You can find out much more at theleafsnation.com. Thanks so much for watching.